It's the same offense we used the last two games. The last two games today, it's the same offense. <laughs> Uh, it, was, it was a fine win for us. Portland's a fine team, you know, really well coached, talented, and they've been doing great. Uh, obviously, you know, we're still trying to find our way, but uh, tonight we did a lot of good things at both ends of the court, so we feel real good about it. Uh, but it's just one game, so we have to try to build on it. In this new age NBA, is it hard to judge defenses because people are just not trying to learn the rules, I guess? Uh, you know, there's all kinds of, you know, ways to... <coughs> evaluate the defense. I mean, you know, there's post play and uh, there's lots of switching and people have to talk and, you know, not get backdoored. Uh, you have to guard one on one. You got to be able to close out all kinds of situations uh, where the defense uh, needs, you know, repetition and habit forming type situations. And that happens in practice. Unfortunately, none of us get to practice too much. Speaking of talking, I just saw you called a timeout one day. You got on guys for not talking enough. You feel like the Yeah, I mean, everything was, you know, it, it had to be better than the last two games, right? Uh, and everybody's got to participate. You know, good individual defense matters and good team defense, but there's no team defense without talking and trust. So, you know, we're trying to get there with this new group. Like he overcame let's, let's, let's move <laughs> questions on, you know. Yeah, you know, the last two games. If somebody said, you sit down, you sit down. <laughs> Last two games. You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Last two games notwithstanding. But do you do you see things that, that are positive to you that this team is getting it and starting to? to... Yeah, we we won. <laughs> we won the game because we did a lot of things better than we have, you know, the last two games. So, of course, we see it. But as I always say, even when we lose, uh, it's the same as if you win. You go to the film and there's mistakes all over the place. That's just the nature of the game. You know, if everybody played perfect defense, you know, it'd be like 15 to 10 would be the games. So people are going to score. Talented guys in this NBA, you know. Can Jabbar keep his credentials? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want to go that far. <laughs> 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 Anybody else? Lamar what, did look yes, like he was... You interrupted him. <laughs> you interrupted him. What do you, uh, what do you make of DeMar's ability? It seems like that he can start 3 of 12 and he just keeps going. But some people don't. Right. Well, you know, he's that's why he's been an all-star for so long. It, uh, you know, scorers shouldn't have consciences. You know, you just keep going. Uh, if you if you have a bad stretch, you know the percentages are probably with you. So uh, he's been around a long time, and he's very confident, and he knows what he can do. So uh, that's that's not going to bother him if he misses a few shots. I think you had a question about the market. <laughs> Never mind. Yes, any more? No, come on, one more. One oh, more. You look like you overcame Terry's whistles tonight. <laughs> uh, you know, Lamarcus, he, he, he played great. You know, he, he was huge at both ends of the court. So uh, we had a lot of guys who played well. And, you know, when you have somebody, you know, DeMar and, and L.A. and, you know, Rudy, you know they can score and uh, the ball's in their hands quite often, like, like any team with their, you know, most explosive players. But... There's got to be other people who step up, and you know Derek White was great tonight. He showed a lot at both ends of the court, so he deserves a lot of credit for you know a lot of the uh, composure that you might have seen out there on the court. Surprised how fast he got down there at the end of the first half there, like one point box. He did get down pretty quick. He he doesn't look it, you know, but <laughs> but he, but he, he gets it done. All right. Coach, what are your thoughts on uh, USA basketball pinching their World Cup berth? Uh, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't know how it came out. It was a one-point game at half, so they ended up winning. Mm -hmm. Oh, great! Uh, well, <laughs> of course I'm happy as heck. You know, we're we're not in the dance if we don't qualify. So, uh, Coach Van Gundy has been brilliant, and you know, he's he's working for pennies. You know, zero pennies. Uh, so, you know, he wants to do it for the country, and he he loves coaching. And there's nobody better to put a team together quickly. And he's done, I think this was the fifth time, I'm not sure, but uh, four or five different teams to, you know, get the USA to be able to qualify. So he deserves a lot of credit. And all those guys that have given up their time uh, to do this. So, you know, it, it was a group effort, uh, but he's the guy that made it go.